So I'm playing Free Fire which is a really popular battle royale game and this is running on Windows 11 without the help of any Android emulator. So watch the video till the end to find out what more games you can play and what are the system requirements and also how to download and install it on your computer. So let's get started. So all this is possible with the help of the Google Play Games beta which is uh, which acts like a Google Play Store for all the games and these games are all optimized for the computer so you can check out the settings we have the options for the payment and subscription so you can also make in-app purchases so it acts like a mix of google play store and google play games and uh, i've counted and there are more than 90 games on it 96 to be exact uh, currently and it includes very popular games from across the genres and the list of the games is only going to keep increasing in the future and it's not like it's the first time the Android games are available on the Windows natively. We also had all uh, a lot of the games on the Microsoft Store, uh, like the Candy Crush, Angry Birds. But other than that, there have not been a lot of other games that have been added currently. So that's what has been the issues. So first of all, let's try the Free Fire Max, which has been recently added and is definitely going to be become one of the most popular and you can access by pressing the shift and tab to get these options and you can change the resolution if you're facing any kind of frame drops you can also change the uh, resolution and then restart the game and we also have the option for the gaming controls but you will access them later so going to the game we can go to the display settings and change the graphics you can see that right now it is in the max graphics and high frame rates so let's see how it plays out and you will see this issue is that it will ask you to close but you cannot access the cursor so what you need to do is uh, press the back code button this is a shortcut to enable or disable the cursor so you can just uh, enable the cursor and then go back to uh, the view the surroundings for your gaming so you can just move your mouse to look around the map And there are no problems you have ever played through emulators also uh, you can use the wsd to move around the space bar to jump and uh, also your right mouse click to aim and shoot so there are no problems and since this is not an emulator but an official uh, program from the google my laptop specs will be uh, in the description so you can check out but it should play really well if you meet the criteria which we will talk about later in the video so for now enjoy the gameplay and we will move to the next very popular game. So the next really popular game that has been added is the Clash of Clans. And this is a strategy based game and uh, usually it looks really small on your phone but you can play here in your big screen if you have a monitor or a laptop and i know that a lot of people have put their hours in this game so they can enjoy on their phone and on their laptop uh, without any issues and you can easily log in with your account so th if there is no issue about uh, uh, you uh, making a new account for the game you can just sign in with your same google account here you can also play class royale which is from the same developer so that is also there so that is good they are adding these popular games to this platform so after this game the another really popular game is the ludo king and this game plays in the ported format and uh, you can also access all the controls here uh, this is a good game but uh, you can there are a lot of ads in it you can see we try to play a game here so let's see for this with computer at the moment i click the play the ad starts so yeah this is a good game and i played sometimes but yes the ads will be here as well because it is official on google so they are not work around around that so i'm just going to cut the game let's move on to the next game which is one of my favorite which is uh, off-road driving this is one of my favorite games on this uh, google play games beta because of this graphics and physics and if you have played snow runner or mud runner on the pc this reminds me of that and uh, of course their graphics are much much better but here it looks uh, somewhat like that and i've really been enjoying playing this so if you're planning to install the google play games beta make sure you try this game off-road uh, car driving 
and uh, you can uh, change the mode from TPP to FVP and uh, there are also objectives in the game so you can either uh, like uh, drive around the open area or you can uh, complete the objectives So this is another uh, one of my favorite games that was added recently this is horizon chase so if you like racing games this is a little bit different because it has 2d graphics and uh, you're going to really enjoy it because of this uh, the music and the graphics so you have a lot of options to choose so let's start to race so these are some of the games that i'm recommending after you install it you can try it out so this is how it looks and the music of the game is really good If you played as far that uh, game also has a lot of uh, music in the background and if you want you can also mute the music or the sound uh, the sound effects so this is the last game that i want to mention is the first person shooter it's the zombie beast and I like this game because of this graphics. The game can be a little bit violent, so a disclaimer, but uh, the graphics is really cool. And if you enjoy these kind of games, you will really like it as well. You can check out the graphics and the sound effects. So do check out this game also if you are if you like these kind of games and also uh, after installing the Google Play games beta. So now let's move on to see how you can install Google Play Games Beta on your computer and also check out what are the eligibility criteria. So visit this website which will be in the description and first of all read the system requirements. So you need to have 8GB of RAM, at least quad core processor and, and if you have uh, internal graphics it should be Intel UHD 630 at least. And you, you need to also make sure you have the virtualization enabled. So you can check out by going to the task manager and then in the cpu uh, you can check out if your virtualization is enabled or not uh, in the newer systems it is by default but if it's not you can power off your device then press the power button and the bios key that you are seeing on the screen and then it will open up the bios options and in there you need to find the virtualization options which will be either hyper-v svm vtd and just enable it you can search for your motherboard or system and how to enable it um, but this is the step for that and after we have done that uh, we will go to the download option and you will see the google play games beta screen just uh, click on the download beta and after the download is complete uh, double click on the exe file and you will see the screen you can choose whether where you want to actually install the games and then install the program and it's going to download uh, a large amount of files so make sure you have a good internet connection so after the installation is finished, just sign in with your Google account and start enjoying Android games on your Windows computer. So that was it for this video. I hope you like this one and I'll see you in the next one.